So the question is, to Dooley or not to Dooley? That is the fifth wheel question. This is my father-in-law's 2014, I believe, or 15, uh, Ford Super Duty Dooley. Great truck, 6.7 liter power stroke, um, FX4 package. He tows a 38 foot fifth wheel, a Redwood, and we'll give a tour in another video about that. And he swears by his Dooleys, and I know a lot of um, RVers swear by their Dooleys. And I'll let him give you his explanation of why he likes the Dooley, but here it is. He wasn't sure on the color, but I think in the sunshine, that is an awesome color. All right, so we are sitting here with my dad, and we've been discussing back and forth pros and cons of Dooley versus non-Dooley. And so, what have we come up with, Dad? Well, it depends on the weight you're pulling, but I like my Dooley for stability. And you don't get the sway going, you know, around corners. It's, it follows. The trailer rides better. You seem like it follows you better down the road. Uh, of course, it depends on your trailers, but... I pull a fairly good sized trailer and I like my dually and I wouldn't want to get rid of it. Single wheels are I guess alright but they're easier in the city. The one disadvantage is you do have the dual wheels if you're trying to get around in the city. They're not, they're not really a city truck but I've had a dually probably for 15 years maybe and I wouldn't go back to a single axle. I just like my duallys. They seem to ride on the road better. They pull just as good. They may even have better braking system. I don't know that, how they're for sure on that aspect. They used to. Nowadays, they may not be any difference in the braking. But I just like the way you feel going down the road. You feel safer. You don't get the body sway. They hold, if you know, there's a little wind on it, you don't notice it quite as bad. Uh, road sway, you don't get any road sway. They just sit on the road and run. That's the thing I notice more about them. And we have... Kara and I's truck. It's a 2015 Ram 2500, which is a three quarter ton truck. Quite a bit lighter duty than his dually. His dually's rated for like 30,000 pounds. And our Ram here, being the 2500 single rear wheel, three quarter ton, it's rated to tow 17,000. Um, gross combined is somewhat over 20 somewhere. Uh, it has the 6.7 liter diesel so towing power between the two trucks is basically the same it all comes down to how the truck will handle the weight the dualies provide more stability but Kara and I live in the city and this is her daily driver so we have chosen to go with it you do get a lot more bounce uh, when towing the trailer you also um, can feel a little bit of wiggle and the wind and things like that the grooves in the road you notice that a little bit more than with my father-in-law's dually ford the three-quarter ton is able to tow it um our trailer only weighs like twelve thousand pounds fully loaded everything uh gross combined between the trailer and truck we're at like seventeen thousand, so we're still well below our truck's limits um so we don't need to go with a dually for the rig that we have but if you look at my father-in-law's 39-foot Redwood, he's 16,000 pounds, just the trailer, so the dually does help him go down the road. It does, uh, or it is a safer, if you are towing a lot, to go with the dually. It, it just is not as good in the city. We love our Ram, and we love the single rear wheel. We see a lot of trucks pulling with single rear wheels that sh probably should have duallys. But um, this is what we have, and I think depending on, you know, you're getting 12 to 15,000 pounds of, uh, of trailer behind you, you really ought to start looking into the dually for the safety of having that extra control and that extra bit of rubber on the road. It doesn't matter what your rig is, just always make sure that you have enough truck to pull the rig that you have. And if you have the right amount of truck to pull the rig that you have, that's the right truck for you. Whether it's a single rear wheel, three quarter ton, a half ton truck, a dually, heck, I've seen people pulling with semi trucks and all that sort of stuff. It's almost becoming more the um, style to have a giant semi truck towing a fifth wheel behind it. Uh, I guess they'll never overload it. So 
just always make sure that you get the right r tow vehicle for the right rig. And I don't think there's a wrong choice if you do that. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and remember to enjoy your weekend.